people. And I talk to all of them and find out which one of them's the best. I gotta make a judgment call and decide because my time's limited, which one of these ladies am I gonna work with? Okay, this one, great. She's serious, I can hear it in her voice, she gets it, she sees it, she's aggressive, great. Show me all your people, I wanna see your FFBC. Who are they? Here they are, right here. Boom, here's the next one. Three levels, boom, I work through her. I wanna see all her best people, then I go to this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive this thing four, five, six levels deep, I'm gonna do it in a couple of days. A couple of days, you know, four or five, six thousand in volume in a week. In a line. One line. Now, every now and again, you get somebody going, you sponsor them, and you sift and sift and sift. You're looking at all their contacts, and you just can't get it to go. And usually there's been some problem. Usually this guy's been kind of a screw-up, and he's either, you know, Stolen money from old people that he's dealt with in the past and they have no reputation or, you know, he's messed up his whole contact base, nobody trusts him or has no credibility with them or whatever. But sometimes that will happen and I make a mistake in my judgment call, but I can tell pretty quick when it, when it doesn't start to go. If I can't get anything to work, there's a problem, right? And so I need to either rectify the problem or I just, you know, cut my losses, move on, sponsor another person that I can get working. All right. So that's, that's kind of the, the four principles. That's coaching. I can sit down and I can teach people that. You have to constantly kind of draw the group out with them. You've got to draw it out. See those frontline executives? See who's under them? See who's there? Know those people. You should know them. You should know them. Can you imagine how busy this gets? Can you imagine you sponsor four or five people and you start to push these lines down? All of a sudden you're dealing with 50 or 60 people, 70 people. They can get full time in a hurry, like real fast. Sometimes you don't have enough time to, to work with them all, so you need a system to kind of catch them, right? Weekly opportunity meetings, monthly fast start trainings, monthly fly-ins or team league universities, and every four months a success summit or a successful one. Those are the escalation of meetings that we use. It all starts with a good weekly meeting. You guys might have multiple weekly meetings. That's great, okay? You need to have good weekly meetings. That's the genesis of the activity, right? You know, do trainings every week if you need to. Do a Saturday training every Saturday if you need to. We've kind of standardized fast start trainings once a month. The first Saturday of every month in the U.S. and Canada, we have a fast start training. So we take everybody who pushes hard the last week to get all their LOIs in, and we close all the business a month in, get it all closed out, and within a, within a couple of days, we catch all those new people and put them in a place where they can get oriented. They can understand what it means to have their LOI and what they need to do next. We teach them the system. Right. So that's the plan that we're using, and we're happy to share with you. I'm sure you guys already have a great plan going since you're the fastest growing, you know, city in Australia. So I don't want to mess anything up you're doing. What you need to do is listen to your leaders. You, you guys do have amazing leaders. I'm going to head up on them because they've been here. They know what's going on. They understand the business. You listen to them more than you listen to me. They understand them better here than your market than I do. And so you listen to them. You follow them. You do what they say. You edify them. You build them up to your people. If you want to have that kind of edification someday when you deserve it in this business, right? You're top leader, then you need to edify them. Because you'll be edified that way when it's your turn. All right? Okay, I think we're done with this uh, portion. Thank you very much for being here. We'll see you back for the opportunity.